Hi, this is Christine from GRN Training 101. This session has to do with FileZilla and how to use it. Again, FileZilla is a great free software that allows you to upload files from your computer up to the server. Take for example, if you have um, a, a domain name, uh, www.yourdomain.com, you can go ahead and upload files up to that domain so that all of a sudden the entire world will be able to see your website. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this program is very quick and it's very user friendly. But I first want to point out a couple of windows. Up here you have where you're going to enter in your username and password. In this section that tells you what's going on. Once we start using the program the se section will start moving like once files start transferring it will let you know whether or not it's successful. Down here is your local site. So this is actually your computer, your desktop, my documents, my computer. This window tells you what's um, in this folder. Like right now it's under, it's uh, clicked on my desktop. So this is everything on my desktop. If I clicked on my documents, everything's going to change. Over here is the actual server. Now uh, because we haven't logged into the server, nothing's going to show. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, you're going to type in your domain name here. If you're hosting multiple domains, you need to type in your primary domain. And then your username. Again, this is your web hosting provider's FTP username and password. And now over here, you're just going to leave the port empty and simply click on Quick Connect. Now I can't remember if that's my password. Uh, it, once you're logged into the system, you can actually click on the scroll down menu and, whoops, that's the wrong one. Uh, you're going to click on the scroll down menu and you can grab uh, yours that's already in there. So it will automatically log you in. And there we go. Now you notice uh, this is my root server, okay? And then down here are all my domains and folders underneath that server. Okay, like take for example, www.298livedemo is here. So if I double clicked on it, there's going to be all the files underneath that particular domain. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, we want to go grab that folder uh, of your splash page or your who is page, whatever the case may be. We want to go grab that that's on your computer. So we want to go back to the local site. My example sitting on my desktop and there it is, GRN Live Demo. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to decide where to put it. Now again, if you're hosting multiple domains, you're going to want to find your folder that's hosting that domain. Um, you just simply click on the scroll down menu and scroll down. Um, if you want to just create a folder, like take for example, my primary domain is grncanada.com. If you wanted to create a folder called grncanada.com slash who is or grncanada.com slash uh, live demo, you just simply uh, come over here and you right click and you create a directory. Okay, so the new folder is going to be called live demo. Okay, so let's scroll down and find it. There it is. I'm going to double click. There's going to be nothing in there because we haven't uploaded any files yet. There it is. Okay, now what we're going to do is simply come over to GRN Live Demo and we're going to grab all these files and we're going to highlight them and drag them over. Okay, or you can just double click on them and one of them will go at a time. Now I'm just going to come down here a little bit. Okay, you'll notice down here that 
files, uh, these are the files that are starting to transfer. If we come back up here, you're going to notice things moving. So it's accepting all these different files and you're going to notice here, which is the server, you're going to notice files starting to appear. Once all the files have appeared, then we can simply uh, uh, click on uh, a web browser and open up for this example it would be www.grncanada.com slash the folder name. Okay so we'll just uh, give it a moment uh, for all the files to upload and we at least need the index file in order to see something. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'll do is I'll just pause this uh, video and come back once it's uh, all uploaded. Okay, the files have now all transferred, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and open up a browser, and we'll go ahead and go to my example here. So grncanada.com slash live demo. And there we go. We now have our new splash page uploaded uh, to our domain and uh, or a uh, folder within the domain. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this training. Um, have a great day. Live, laugh, and travel.